If you do just three minutes of burpees every day, something specific starts happening inside your body that almost no one talks about. Most people think burpees are just cardio. They're not. They're a full body metabolic event, one that shocks your system harder than most gym workouts ever could. But here's the twist. Your body doesn't adapt evenly. You might think you're building endurance, but what's actually building faster is a hidden muscle imbalance that can change your posture, strain your joints, and silently cap your progress. So what's really going on beneath the surface? Let's break it down, day by day, system by system. In the first few days, your body goes into shock. Your heart rate spikes to 160 to 180 beats per minute. Your breathing skyrockets, and your muscles, especially your chest, shoulders, and quads, start developing microscopic tears. Your central nervous system is overwhelmed because it's not efficient yet. You're moving fast, but your stabilizer muscles, your rotator cuff, glute medius, and deep core can't keep up. By day three, your chest and front shoulders are already firing stronger. Your quads are pumped, but your rear delts and glutes? Still lagging. Your lower back quietly steps in to compensate. That's when soreness hits. And it's not just muscle soreness. It's your body's way of saying, Hey, something's off. What feels like progress is actually your anterior chain, front side, outpacing your posterior chain back side. And that's the first seed of imbalance. By the end of week one, your brain's learned the rhythm. Your body moves smoother. But now, the imbalance starts to show. Burpees are a pressing dominant movement. Every rep drives your chest, shoulders, and abs forward. Your rear delts, back, and glutes. They're just along for the ride. This creates what physiologists call anterior dominance. Your front muscles overpower your back ones. By day 14, it becomes visible. Your shoulders start rounding forward, your chest looks bigger, and your upper back looks flatter. It feels like you're getting fitter, but your posture is collapsing forward. And this is where most people get misled. They see a pump, not a problem. Your shoulder sockets are rotating forward. Your spine's alignment shifts. And soon, your lower back begins absorbing stress. It shouldn't. Your body is adapting, yes, but it's adapting incorrectly. Now let's talk about what's happening inside your joints, because this is where things get real. In the beginning, your adrenaline hides discomfort, but as the weeks pass, the truth surfaces. Your wrists are taking compression every time your palms hit the ground. Your elbows and shoulders move through full flexion and extension hundreds of times a day. Your knees and ankles absorb impact on every jump, two to three times your body weight. By day 10, your rotator cuff, those small stabilizers inside your shoulder, are overloaded. By day 14, your wrists and knees are starting to send signals. Tightness, stiffness, fatigue. If your form slips even slightly, those signals evolve into pain. And when your stabilizers can't hold alignment, your joints start compensating with tendons and cartilage. Tissues never meant to bear that kind of repeated impact. That's when people quit. They say, burpees hurt my shoulders or knees. But the truth, it's not burpees that are bad. It's imbalanced burpees. Burpees without structural support. Here's the part that almost no one understands. The energy systems behind those three minutes. For the first 30 seconds, your body runs on phosphocreatine, your immediate energy supply. By 45 seconds, it's gone. You switch to anaerobic glycolysis. That's when lactate builds and your legs start to burn. By minute two, your body hits oxygen net, breathing hard but never catching up. This is where EPOC, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, kicks in. Even after you stop, your body's still consuming oxygen and burning calories for hours. It sounds great, but here's the catch. If you do this every single day, you never fully recover. Your cortisol stays elevated. Your sympathetic nervous system stays on. The fight or flight switch while your parasympathetic side, responsible for repair and recovery, barely gets a chance. That's why people start to feel burnt out, tight, or even anxious. Not from lack of effort, but from lack of balance. By the third or fourth week, your body's endurance is through the roof. Your heart adapts. Your oxygen efficiency improves. But something else happens. Plateau. You either maintain performance but stop improving, or you start regressing. Your nervous system is craving variation, but you're repeating the same neural pattern daily. You've trained yourself into neuromuscular monotony. You're efficient, but not evolving. And that's where most people either burn out or break down. Not because burpees don't work, but because your body's crying for structural correction and recovery. So how do you fix it? Simple. Train smarter, not longer. After your three-minute burpee set, add one balancing exercise. 
10 to 15 reverse snow angels to re-engage your rear delts and scapular stabilizers, or glute bridges or hip thrusts to wake up your posterior chain. And for older adults or beginners, modify burpees by stepping back instead of jumping and land softly with joint-friendly cushioning. And at least twice a week, include mobility resets like cat cows, wall slides, and deep breathing to keep your nervous system balanced. Remember, burpees build fitness fast, but if you don't build balance, your progress collapses just as fast. So, out of everything happening inside your body, the imbalance, the joint stress, or the recovery struggle, which one do you feel the most? Drop a comment below and tell me your biggest challenge or surprise. Because in my next video, I'll show you the exact protocol to rebuild your burpees the right way, how to keep the fat burn, the strength, and the endurance without the imbalance.